In today's video, I'll be sharing our experience with the Eclipse here in Texas. I'll also be sharing an HEB grocery haul and a new recipe that we tried tonight. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Gypsy Wife Life. In today's video, I am going to be sharing footage of the great 2024 eclipse. So it's April 8th and it's around one something. I don't think the eclipse has happened yet, but the problem is it's storming outside. So the sky is already really dark and I don't see how it can get much darker, but Alan said it's gonna get even darker. So I'm gonna document this and I'm also gonna be sharing a grocery haul. So I'm standing in my apartment right now and I have a light on, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light off and show you how dark it is in my apartment right now. Okay, <laughs> it's pitch black, you can't see me. So I have the window open just so you can get a little glimpse of how dark it is in here. One of the cats are down there, I can't see. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna head outside and see if we can get some footage. It's not gonna be like really good footage because the sun isn't out, I don't think, because of the storm. So we're not gonna be able to see like the actual eclipse, but we're just gonna see if it's gonna get darker. So I'm outside now and this is what it's looking like. And here's the little birdies. But yeah, it's been raining out here, so it's already gloomy, but it's still pretty dark for being one something. from Texas. Hi, this is Charity reporting live during the solar eclipse. I'm gonna be honest, all the fear mongering and hype, I'm not impressed. This is just a gloomy, stormy sky. And you said to buy out all the food from the stores. Oh yeah, go buy all the food because there's not gonna be any food. And it was, uh, what was it? They declared like a, what's it called? State of emergency. State of emergency. Where's the emergency? All right, it's 1.44. I don't know when this is supposed to happen. I was recording a little bit to try to get like a time lapse, but I don't see any changes. No changes. And it's so humid outside, it's making my hair frizz up. Yeah, okay. I'll check back in if anything amazing happens. All right, I'm checking in again to let y'all know that at 1.53, the sky has gotten brighter, okay? It didn't get darker, it got brighter. Explain that. Is it already over? I guess. Ooh, scary. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and share my grocery haul as I said I would because this eclipse is over. Like I said, the sky is brightening, but now, now ladies and gentlemen, we're under tornado watch. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe that will be scary. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, so this is my H-E-B grocery haul. We got lots of goodies today. I'm gonna be showing you everything piece by piece. There is four items missing because we accidentally left them at the store, either that or they forgot to put it in the basket with the rest of the bags. But whenever I tell you guys the price of all this, those items will be included. It was, it was basically just a bag of treats for the girls, a can of cat food, and then some other little things for them. So I'll have to go back and get that, but that will be included in the price. So we only got a couple meats today because we already have some meats in the freezer from last time we grocery shopped which I'll show you now. We've got some chicken cutlets, some ground beef, some ground beef patties and then these are all steaks so that's why we didn't buy a bunch of meat today just some stuff to go along with some meals. All right, starting over here, we got a two pound bag of the Cosmic 
crisp apples. We got two things of strawberries because these were actually on sale for 97 cents. I bought one of these last time we went and they were delicious. So I got two more. Can't beat the price of 97 cents for these strawberries. I picked up a thing of blueberries because I keep seeing people online making this air fried toast with cottage cheese and blueberries and I have to try it. So I got some blueberries. We got some cranberry juice, two things of bananas. We got lots of vegetables here. We got cauliflower, mini cucumbers, two avocados, two squash, one green bell pepper, one white onion, some cloud nine sweet tomatoes. They're just like little cherry tomatoes. We got seven Roma tomatoes because I'm going to be making more of the cucumber and tomato salad. We got two things of broccoli, a thing of frozen green beans, got some paper towels. We picked up these. They had a coupon along with it, so it made it like a dollar cheaper. The brand is late July and it's organic sea salt and lime tortilla chips. These look so good. Next up, we got a mesquite barbecue rotisserie chicken. We're gonna be having this for lunch today. We picked up two of these steaks. Alan got these a while back and he really liked them. So the last few times we went to H-E-B, they did not have them. So we grabbed some, even though we had a bunch of steaks already, but these are really good. And a big old thing of mini cut carrots. So we also picked up some of this fully cooked chicken breast. I got this last time, but it was just like plain flavor. It was really good, but I wanted to try the fajita one. And I also got a salad to go with it. We got the cracked pepper Caesar salad. I also picked up a pack of this. It's kind of like the Steakums, but I seen a girl using these in a recipe the other day that made like a little bowl out of it with some rice and stuff. So I'm gonna be making that sometime. Got some peanut butter, some milk, some Monterey Jack jalapeno pepper cheese, our favorite. Got some string cheese. Six of the Hill Country Fair Greek blended blueberry yogurt, four sticks of salted butter, two bags of small shells. Wanted to try this out. It is scratch made and it's sourdough bread. That's what I'm gonna be having the cottage cheese and blueberries with. Also picked up some of this again. This was really good. I really enjoyed this last time I got it, so I repurchased it. It's the Better Oats Steel Cut Apples and Cinnamon Oatmeal with Flaxseed. Got some daisy low-fat cottage cheese. Got some mayonnaise to make some chicken salad out of the leftover rotisserie chicken, whatever we don't eat of it. And then got some eggs. And then of course, the girls' treats, which were left behind, which we have to drive back and get. So yeah, this is our whole H-E-B grocery haul. Now I'm gonna tell you how much it all cost and how much I saved with coupons and stuff. So I had a $20 coupon on the H-E-B app, which took $20 off of 100. So I saved $20 with that. I saved $1.90 on on-sale savings, $1.90 just for buying H-E-B brands. Um, I had a dollar off coupon. So my total for this entire haul, including the girls' stuff, it was only $97.03, which I think was a steal. Got all of these good fruits and vegetables, things to cook, snacks, breakfast, all that fun stuff, all for under 100. I don't think you can beat that. I think this is a really good haul and I can't wait to enjoy all of this. So now I'm gonna show y'all how I made the bowls with the beef and rice. This was actually recorded the next day, but I figured I would throw this in here to add to the video. So this is everything I'm using for today's meal, except for the seasonings. So we've got the H-E-B thinly sliced sirloin beef, a white onion, a green bell pepper, basmati rice, and the sliced cheese. The first thing I'm doing is getting my rice in the rice cooker. I'm using basmati rice because that's what I had on hand and I'm doing one cup of rice and two cups of water. The rice is gonna take the longest to cook so that's why I'm doing it now and getting it out of the way. After the rice was cooking for a while, I started to cut up my onion and bell pepper and get that ready to go into the frying pan. This is also gonna take longer than the meat so I started cooking the vegetables ahead of time because I knew they would take some time to soften up. The meat only takes a few minutes to cook. It's so easy to to do and tastes so good. Like I said, it's like Steakums. I don't know if you've ever had that or heard of it, but the one we got is the H-E-B brand and it's pretty much the same thing. So in my pan, I'm adding in some butter and some minced garlic, and then I'm gonna add in the bell pepper and onion, and I'm gonna season the vegetables with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Oh, 
and then I changed my shirt because it's such a gloomy and rainy day and I just wanted to be comfy for the rest of the day so I put on a t-shirt. Now I'm gonna be adding the meat to the pan. As you can see, these look like little steaks but that's because they're frozen and once they start to cook, you can break them apart and it ends up looking more like slices of meat. So I only used two of these for this meal and I'm saving the other two for some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches that we'll be having on another night. I also seasoned the meat with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. So now I'm just gonna let that cook completely and then I'll be adding the cheese on top in just a little bit and putting the lid on so the cheese can melt good. While the cheese is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the rice to our bowls. I also added a little bit of butter and salt and pepper to the rice off camera. So now I'm just gonna plop some of this meat and vegetable and cheese mixture on top of the rice. And this is the end result. This is how it looks and it turned out delicious and it was so easy to make. After we ate, then I cleaned up my little mess. There wasn't much to clean up, thank God. I did most of the cleaning off camera, but now I'm just wiping off the countertops. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I also would love to hear about your experience with the eclipse because as you can see, we really didn't have one. And give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. That way you'll always be notified when I upload a new video. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.